So guys, a lot of y'all will remember the video that I did a few videos back on taking down and milling those lightning strike pine trees. Well, unbeknownst to me at the time, these two trees right here were actually affected as well. And as time went on, it kind of became more apparent that they were dying as well. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna try to save these two trees. And by save them, I mean, we're gonna cut them down and cut them into lengths and cut them up into two by fours that my uncle can use to put rafters on his little cattle ship that he's making right now so these two trees if you can see this drone footage right here this one right here is uh, kind of the worst one it's got uh, quite a bit of the bark that's coming off the one on the very end is nice and green still so we'll leave it alone then the next one is dying of course and then of course you see that next one a lot of the pine needles are gone off of it and some of the bark as well so we'll try to be careful as we take it down just to make sure it's not doesn't hold any surprises for me so let's go ahead and get these down and see if we can take these trees that are going to be useless and they're going to rot and save them and make them into some lumber that'll last for a long time my guess is that this tree is still pretty well solid on the inside but you can see it does have some bug holes in it and uh, a lot of the bark is coming off you can see it comes off relatively easily but i do think it's all right let's um whack it a few times and see I don't know. Let's cut it down and see. That worked out pretty good, no surprises, and I'm still alive, which I, I usually use that as the test of whether the, the tree fell and went well or not, but it's real solid, and I think we're gonna get some really nice lumber out of it. I, um, I'm guessing that this log is 13, 14 inches at the base right here, and what I need is 14 two by fours, true two by fours, that will be a 13 feet long. So I'm not totally sure if I'll be able to get all of those out of this. I might be able to get that. I probably will, but we'll see. Let's um, let's get these cut up and on the mill.
So this is the small end of the biggest log out of those six logs. Ended up getting six logs out of those two trees. This is the smallest end of the biggest log. So the base log of the biggest tree basically. And the saw head, I don't have a measuring tape, but the saw head is telling me that it's 12 inches wide. So I'm hoping that I can get six two by fours out of this, true two by fours out of this. Uh, I can probably get five, but I'm hoping for six. So let's go ahead and try and see what we do. So at this point, I've got two flat sides on the log here, and what I need to get is an eight inch cant, and I don't have, again, I don't have a measuring tape, I'm just using the depth gauge on the saw for all this. So what I need to get now is a 
eight inch cant, but not really eight inches. I've got to allow for curve, so it's actually got to be a little over eight inches to allow for that saw blade. So what I'll do is I'll take a slab off of this top right here, and hopefully there's enough here to make a good eight inch slab, or um, cant rather, and then I'll just split it in half four, and then I'll be able to flip it one more time and start getting my two by my two inch cuts out of it, which will give me give me my two befores and if i've got enough material here to make a good eight by eight and a half or so inch can i'll actually be able to get eight two by fours out of this but i'm not 100 percent sure if i've got enough material in the middle because it kind of it kind of bows down in the middle just a little bit but there might be there might be it may end up being like three true two by fours and one that's an inch and a half by four something like that which would be usable It looks like I really miscalculated this log. The lowest part of this log is looking to be about 10 and a half or so. So I might actually be able to get nine and I undoubtedly will get eight out of it. So luckily I really underestimated this log. I actually got eight really nice two by fours out of it. This one right up here has got some weighing on it. It's still very usable, but uh, some weighing on this one. But overall there was there were eight really nice two by fours hiding in that log and I'm thankful that I underestimated it. So we need six more. We'll try to do six more and then we'll get these delivered. So this log is a good bit smaller on the small end and that's that's a pretty cool pattern on the inside of this log i like that a lot it'd make good cookies for a table or something but anyway this log is only about 10 or so inches wide and uh it, it's going to be optimistic six would be wonderful but i'm not so sure i can get six out of this four for sure um but i doubt six six is what i need but we'll get what we can get
Well, that's three out of that cant right there. And those are three really nice ones, but I've got another piece of it right there that we can put back on the mill and uh, shave it down to four and we'll have another two by four. So four out of that one. So this is our smallest log so far. It's only about eight and three quarter right here. So pretty small. So I'm gonna do it kind of the simplest way possible. I'm just gonna take a slab off of the top, maybe about two inches, a little bit more. And then I'm gonna take one off of the bottom and then we're gonna edge that and just start getting our uh, start getting our two befores out of that one single can on this one. I think that's probably gonna be the simplest and easiest thing to do. I'll be the first to say, I think I basically just butchered that log. I probably, probably could have gotten more out of that one and some better ones. But anyway, there's three there. And I think I'm going to put that slab, that big thick slab back up on the mill and get some kind of a one by out of it. So I really did take off a big slab. There was an entire two by four in that slab. So that's four two by fours out of that slab. And that gives us 16 total two by fours from three of those logs. So he only needed 14. So um, that should do it. This is my uncle's little cattle shed here. He's got a pretty nice pasture going right here and he's got himself a milk cow that he'll be getting soon. He'll probably have some goats and stuff out here as well. But this is a little shed. This is all lumber off of my mill and uh, those boards as well. 
So I think he's going to have a pretty nice, this, this wasn't off of my mill, but uh, he's going to have a pretty nice little shed here. And those are going to be the rafters that we just brought over to go up there and uh, across to here. You see, he's still kind of in the middle of building it all, but it's a really, really nice setup that he's got. There's just nothing nicer to me to see a, and to see a really well put together fence. And this is a super nice, heavy duty fence that I don't think he'll ever have any trouble with. It's straight to look at that. That's so nice. You trying to get through the gate? Mm -hmm. You could go around. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this video. This is how I'm doing my part to help save trees. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the next one. What is it, man? Jim has two ducks. He does have two ducks, doesn't he? What do ducks say? Quack, quack. Why are they not swimming? I don't know. I guess they don't want to swim. I do see this little tractor. That's a cool little tractor, isn't it?